So then you find out, you get the role. Who do you call first? Who's the first person you make the call to? I called my parents. I couldn't even tell. I literally genuinely didn't tell anyone because also it got leaked like before I actually got cast and I Aww. genuinely wasn't cast. Mm -hmm. And my entire world texted me being like, are you playing Batman? Because I hadn't told anyone even I was even. You told everyone. I didn't. You told everyone. I swear to God. I, I did. did. I told. <laughs> I got the rumor started. I could. <laughs> I knew what was coming. <laughs> I think because I had to promote a movie. I went to do another movie and every single interview was like, are you playing Batman? Are you playing Batman? And, and like, I genuinely thought if I say anything You're about gonna this, I'm going to lose the job. Yeah. So like, I, I didn't text a single person back. It was, it was, I, I felt like nauseous for the entire, that was my, my, first, oh. my first reaction. It's stressful. Yeah. I think I just sat in, I remember like when I first got the call, I just went, I sat in the garden and, uh, and like looked at the sun. And I was oh, literally like, God. and I was like, <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, why me? Why, why all these blessings? It's so poetic. I love this. I'm so glad I asked the question. <laughs> so one thing. Who am I? <laughs> the bat and the cat. It's got a nice ring. I am wondering, these are such iconic roles. Was there any hesitation or any moment where you reflected and you thought, can I do this? Definitely, definitely. I never hesitated in terms of, you know, whether I was gonna take the job or not, but there's definitely like this range of emotion. It starts with really excited and then you realize that you now have to do it and then everyone's gonna see it <laughs> and that gets really, really scary. And there was just something about those, it's the one time in my life where I've been really glad that the the work schedule was so relentless it almost didn't give you any time, time to, think about, to it. think about it it was that we did a 155 day shoot or something and we work kind of 14 hours of any workout either end of the day and like i mean by the time you got home there is no looking at Anything? comments oh <laughs> like, no, no i mean it's kind of i know, would like, have like a thing unconscious where i would have like a big scene coming up and you're you know you're, you're nervous and then you go and you do it and you're like oh, okay that's done and then you get in bed and you're like people are gonna Again. see it no <laughs> yeah. i'm like people are gonna see it it's not done like it's just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so justice the answer is justice one thing that i mean you bring to the role and i want to talk about both your roles separately but you know rob for you you said that Bruce Wayne was going to be a bit of a weirdo in this film mm -hmm. and he is and I say that with the highest compliment uh -huh. he, he really is and I mean for you what in what way did you want to make him that is that what the role called for is that the way you interpreted it and wanted to bring to your character yeah I mean one of the major things that Matt changed from the traditional tellings of, of Batman is that Bruce wasn't a playboy in this at all he's 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 a complete hermit really and so I was trying to, in trying to imagine what he'd really gone through since his parents' death and then throughout base, essentially his whole 20s. And they were kind of, the, the um, production design was so incredible in Wayne Manor and it was just kind of, you really felt everything was just full of dust, everything's broken. There was kind of just like empty plate, there's plates of like half finished food and stuff all throughout the house. and. All these little clues, which uh, kind of added up, and the, and the Nirvana song as well, it kind of just made me think, you know, this guy has had, it's not someone who's gone away and mastered himself and just thought, okay, as soon as my parents die, I'm gonna train to become a hero and, and, and avenge them. He's gone through mass, I just kind of interpreted there's been like huge periods of depression, huge periods of torment, and then his wealth has just allowed him to completely isolate from everyone. And he's kind of had this incredibly strange, complicated uh, self-help, which is now, you know, if, if no one's telling him to stop, he thinks like, oh, I've healed myself now by being Batman. <laughs> and, like, and, then, and I was like, now I can re-emerge into my life. And so even the people who care about him are thinking like, I really don't think this is a good idea, Bruce. This is, comp this is way crazier than you've ever, this is the craziest idea you've ever had and maybe you should go back to just therapy. staying in your room. <laughs> staying you need therapy. Yeah. Needs a lot of therapy. Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. And then Zoe, for you, Catwoman. I mean, what was it like to put on the suit for the first time? And then it was also, also, when I saw you, I said, what took so long? What took so long for Zoe to be Catwoman? <laughs> 
I mean, she should have been Catwoman long ago. I mean, it was sexy. It was in, like alluring. It just mysterious. Talk a little bit about stepping into that role. Oh, thank you. I mean, I think um, if I had done it earlier, it would have been it would have been weird. It would have been weird. It would have been. That's what I'm baby I've cat, been saying. Baby so. Catwoman. <laughs> um, kitten. <laughs> kitten. Aw, kitten girl. Um, I mean, yeah, we're. You know, getting to develop the suit with, with Matt and Jacqueline was incredible. And, you know, we meet Selena at a really interesting time. It's really before she is Catwoman. So, you know, developing the bike suit and kind of trying to figure out where we can start to leave breadcrumbs of what will eventually become the cat suit and the cat mask in the future. Um, it was, you know, it's such a it's such a fun place to, to get to start. And I'm actually really thankful. But it's also very scary because people are expecting to see Catwoman and they're really getting Selena on this film and you kind of have to hope that people will be willing to be patient and go on the ride with you and hopefully we'll make more of these movies. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.